All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Mushoku Tensai season two, episode seventeen. In the last episode, uh, Norn and Aisha, Rudy's little sisters, along with Rui Jerd, arrived at the house. Uh, it was nice seeing Rui Jerd again for even such a short amount of time. Him and Rudy did also end up having a little discussion about Eddie's, um, which was necessary. And honestly, I think Rudy has been putting off talking about it for a very long time. So it was good that they spoke about it. Um, Aisha very much loves his sister, which is very cute. Um, but Norn is kind of like the complete opposite kind of personality wise. She's still taking a lot of getting used to uh, Rudius for kind of what he did to Paul. Obviously, not that big of a deal. Paul, Paul obviously forgave Rudius for it. But she's young, she still doesn't understand it and it's hard for her um, to kind of be see Rudy as her big brother. So uh, Rudy's done what Norn has asked of her, which it, or, or asked of him, which is uh, sent her to the magic school and allowed her to stay in the dorm. Doesn't seem to be going that well. Um, she seems quite very lonely. She's not able to speak to people. Um, so we'll see how it's going to go from here. Um, very much looking forward to this episode. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Why is he walking in stern? What's going on? Oh yeah, because she's potentially becoming a knee like he was. Yeah, he needs to cut that shit out immediately. Oh, he looks really angry. Rudy Akino cool just bursting into the classroom. She looks fucking furious. Oh my god. You don't mind, do you? Uh, sure. Is this the right thing to do? To just announce this shit in front of her class? I feel like this is not the way for people to get to be friends of her. I wonder who it was. Is someone bullying her? Okay. So I guess this is why he's done it, because there is actually someone bullying her. He is, he is, a, a lot of his previous life is dripping into this conversation right now. So he's very angry because it happened to him as well. He probably needs to chill, tone it down a little. I get it though, if someone's bullying his sister, but it's like, it's because of what happened to him as well. Look at me, this is definitely not the girl that bullied her. Looks like a little panda bear. Stripped and naked? Are you alright? So she's just... There's not actually anybody pissing her off? She's just being compared to Rudy? Is that why? Yeah. Ugh, that sucks. I mean, as far as Big Brother things go, it's pretty cool. The way he just spawns a glass of water, that's cool. Or a cup of water. How do you even fix this situation? Like, people are just going to continue to compare her to you. <laughs> Why is she always roasting her? Oh, this is really getting to him. Nobody understands why either. There's nobody knows about his past life. Shizuka knows, obviously. But not the, the, the gritty details, I think. Actually, I have no idea what you do here. I'd maybe speak to Norn. But uh, she probably won't appreciate that. I don't know. Oh, I don't, I don't want to leave anything to you guys. Silphy, can you spectate? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Damn. Yeah, just completely break the ground. Damn, okay. Oh, they really gotta sneak this man in. That's crazy. I hope she's okay. I hope he can somehow speak to her. Obviously, she's not going to reply to you. 
What? Who the fuck is that? Oh, wow, okay. He, it's helpful that he's been in the situation because he knows what he probably would have wanted to hear from the person on the other side of the door. Oh god, she's been like that all this time. That didn't help. That's not a good argument at all. Uh, it's an okay argument. But still. Burr's going through shit as well. Burr's been through a lot of shit. At that point. Damn, that sucks. The way he's looking back at his own life as well through this situation is crazy. That makes sense. Uh, Damn, she was going through all of this, bro. Well, even in a case like this, he just... She had to put a negative spin on it. Um... That sucks. She immediately just compared to Rudius. She f they forgot her name already? They just had Grey Rat and switched off? Why don't you just say it to him, your fucking self, bruh? Ugh. Literally everyone. Jesus. Probably not. She doesn't want to hear it. Yeah. God, this sucks. And then she saw that. Dumbass B scales. Oh, damn. Was she sick? Is she having a panic attack? Yeah. That's true. Doesn't invalidate your feelings, though. Yeah, Rui Jared knows that well. I really hope they can properly mend things. Oh, wow. She saw Paul in him at his lowest. Ah, oh, good shit, Rudy. That was the right thing to say. Good job, Rudy. It's crazy, in the flashback they were like vaguely the same-ish size. And now he's just so much bigger than her. God, that boy grown up. Oh, cute. Look at that smile. Oh, precious. You did everything, bro. That doesn't matter. I'm so glad they got through that. And she's friends with the happy panda girl as well. Was good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you've been more like Norn back then, you wouldn't be here today, so... I mean, with Rudy's past life, it went too far in, in his short in life, but I, I do think that his brother didn't say the right thing to him, like Rudy did for Norm here. Yeah, that's nice. I just realized as well, the name of the episode, My Older Brother's Feelings. Love how that applies to Rudy, to Norn and uh, Aisha, as well as his brother in his past life. Damn, that's really good. Really freaking good episode. I love the writing in that. Um, I'm really happy that Norn was able to 
just break through this kind of scared vision or view that she had of Rudius, and it's just much happier now. I, I don't know if it's fully kind of like repaired the, the bond between them, but it definitely seems a lot better at this point. So yeah, very happy with that. Really good episode and uh, definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have an interesting day and peace out.